Hi there, Laurel Beard here for Blitzy today, and I'm going to be making a card using the Distress Paints and some dyes, and this is the card that I'm going to be making in the video today. Those butterflies are some dyes by Elizabeth Craft Designs. It is the Silhouette die and the Butterfly Overlay 2 die that I'm using, and then I'm going to be coloring those with some of the Tim Holtz Distress Paints. So I've gone ahead and run those through some uh, my die cutting machine using some watercolored cardstock which you don't really have to use for this. You can use regular cardstock. And then I'm gonna go in and add the Distress Paints. I've got a couple different colors out here. Distress Paints have those little uh, daubers at the top, so I'm taking advantage of that. And for this particular uh, die, I'm just going in and dabbing in some of the colors. Now, you can go in and color them directly onto the cardstock and then spray with water and get a beautiful blended effect, but I wanted to take advantage of those dauber tips. And I just think it kind of creates this like tie-dye looking look. I don't know. I like the effect of it. <laughs> so I'm working off of a Ranger craft sheet. It's easy cleanup uh, for me. Uh, you can work off of any kind of surface, obviously. And then I'm going to go in with that, oh, that silhouette piece right there. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to take one of the greens that I used on the the, bo the body of the butterfly. That's called cracked pistachio. And I'm just going to go around the edges of the butterfly and then the body of the butterfly. And then you can let this dry naturally, or in my case, I'm going to go in after I fiddle around a little bit more with the, bo the body of the butterfly. <laughs> I'm going to go in and I'm going to zap that with my heat tool just to speed along the process here. It doesn't really take long for these to dry, but I had, you know, a nice window to film this video when my daughter was sleeping. So I'm going to go in and zap that with my heat tool here. I grabbed a piece. I've got a little piece of hardy board here, and I use this anytime I do any kind of heat embossing just so my surface doesn't warp. So I've gone ahead and zapped that with my heat uh, heat gun there and then I wanted to add a little bit of shine to that overlay of the butterfly so I went and smushed some of my VersaFine ink onto that die and then I've got some embossing powder. This is Frosted Crystal Embossing Powder by Ranger. Uh, this gives a very very subtle shine. Uh, very subtle. So to be honest, I probably should have used something that would have given a little bit more shine, but I didn't. This works just fine. But uh, if you want something a little bit more with more sparkle, then grab another embossing powder. There's lots of uh, kind of clear and glitter embossing powders in the store. So I'm going to go ahead and heat that with my heat gun, and then hopefully you can see there's this very there's a shine because it's heat embossed, and there's a little bit of sparkle in there because of the frosted crystal embossing powder. So now I'm trying to figure out what I want to do and how I want to piece this card together. So I've gone ahead off camera and cut a piece of cardstock that measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to ink up this background stamp. This is the Lattice background stamp by Hero Arts, but any background stamp or any stamp that you have or the store carries will work. Went ahead and inked that up with some Versamark ink, and then I pressed my cardstock into the stamp. Then I'm going to go and sprinkle that same frosted crystal embossing powder that I used on the butterfly over the top. And uh, you'll be able to pick up this effect at the end of the video when I show a still shot of this card. It's going to be hard to pick up in the camera, but it's really quite pretty. I wanted to tie in that embossing powder with the base of the card. And because I'm making such a very clean and simple card, I wanted a little bit on that background panel. So I'm going in with my heat tool again, and I'm just going to heat set my uh, background there. The key to getting a good heat set image is to allow your heat gun to heat up for at least 15-20 seconds if you can. And then uh, it'll emboss very quickly and evenly. So again, it's really hard to pick up, but you'll see that in the end of the video. So now it's time to put this card together. I've gone ahead and adhered the body of the butterfly down flat onto my card. Then I added some adhesive just to the center body of the butterfly, and I did that because I wanted the wings to kind of pop up a little bit. So I just put the glue in the body of the butterfly and adhered it down. And now I was kind of toying around if I wanted to add that that gray piece, that body of the butterfly, but I didn't, so move it on. So I wanted to die cut a word die that I have, and I wanted it to match the butterfly. So a great uh, benefit uh, using your inks directly to your paper is you can completely customize your, your card color. So I'm going to have a perfect match. That's the color Abandoned Coral. So I went ahead and, and rubbed that right onto my cardstock. I dried it with my heat tool, and then off camera I die cut that out. And now I have a perfect match to the card base. So you can do that with your inks, your paints, whatever you've got to customize your cards. 
So I'm going in with my favorite, favorite glue. This is uh, Multi Matte Medium by Ranger. It's super strong and it dries completely clear. So I can be messy and if it oozes out the side, it doesn't matter because it's completely clear. Woohoo! So this is the card there. You can pick up the background there from the heat embossed image and the butterflies. I just love those paint dabbers. I think they're so fun. And I love these butterfly dies by Elizabeth Craft Designs. This is my first uh, dies I've actually purchased from her and I love them. They're super high quality and intricate and they're just fantastic. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you back next time.